Welcome to my new studio. So this, uh, first of all, this is a super wide angle lens so you can see the whole thing. Today, a bunch of boxes just showed up outside there from Sweetwater. This video is sponsored by Sweetwater. Listen, I'm trying to figure out how to get my life together as far as recording stuff. So I've played guitar for almost two decades. I have uh, played all over the place. I've bought and sold thousands of guitars, but there are a couple things I really don't know how to do the way that I want to do them, like recording good audio. So here is what my current setup is. It's pretty hilarious. So this is basically what I've been running so far. 2016 or so MacBook Pro, and then mouse and keyboard. I've got, this just showed up from Sweetwater last week. This is a Universal Audio Apollo X2. This is amazing. I am just getting my head around how to use it, but I use it on the live stream. And then also over here, this is my Wi-Fi router. So that is that, and then I have a boom stand. All I want is the best audio I can get to sound as much like the actual guitar as I can. So anyway, uh, time lapse time to do a whole bunch of unboxing because there's a bunch of boxes out there that need to come inside. I'm gonna open them up and then we'll just talk about each thing that came from Sweetwater. So over here, I've got uh, the computer to monitor is set up. I set up these monitors on the stands. Um, I set up the Gator stands and the EVRE 20 over here. I, so I, I, I feel overwhelmed. That is the feeling right now. There's so much to figure out. I'm trying to figure out, I need a new computer monitor. I wanna put shelves on this wall. I still need camera storage space because over here, this is where all of my lenses have been. And it's just been, I'm living in like total hodgepodge mode of like some uh, camera batteries are charging there. Back over here by the PV Classic 20, I have my wireless mics charging. So a lot has to change as far as just where things get charged. Like my camera stuff is pretty homeless right now. So that's where this space has to come together. So the big thing that I know they need to do is shelves and computer monitor and um, I just, I mean, it's its overwhelming. So the main thing I have to do next in these last boxes down here is um, it is time to take down my like, just bad, uh, yeah. Uh, so all the sound treatment has to come down and the new good stuff has to actually come up. I'm scrappy, that's my personality. I always think like if I, if I had a phrase for my life, it's like, how hard can it be? And some things turn out to be a real freaking hard, um, like sound treating this room. Like it's still, still really live. And um, like I walked, I just did an Instagram story. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. Uh, I went and just filmed a thing in the basement, just a story. And as soon as I walked in there, I started talking, I immediately felt like, oh, this is the way a sound, this is the way a room should sound. That room had just finally been dialed in and right before I did this space. So. That's the new thing. So I'm gonna open up these next big boxes and uh, I'm gonna figure out sound treatment. Move some guitars to the middle of the room and start hanging these up and putting these right because I just, I need to uh, treat this room properly and get it to where it just um, kill off all the extra echoes.
So yesterday I shot all of these final shots where the mic is set up, the shelf is on the wall, the camera stuff is all up. So we're now in Nashville. I'm filming a bunch of stuff. It's fun to be with family. Uh, and then I'm gonna get to see like Scott from String Joy and a bunch of a bunch of other people over the next week. But uh, closing out the studio. So my thoughts on everything so far. The RE20 for the live show sounds awesome. It is full and crispy and wonderful. The Gator Arms is so incredibly helpful. And I like. I mean, I've literally already used this stuff on dozens of projects already. I was on the 40 watt podcast and the mic was awesome. I did Guitar Country from Another Country with JP Cormier. Uh, the other thing with the UA Apollo that I didn't know, I came in just using it as just a straight interface and I, it wasn't until I was in it a couple weeks that I was like, oh, there's a thousand extra things you can do. Using the console app, you can add uh, preamps and compressors and all kinds of beautiful plugins. Uh, that just make it sound crispy and wonderful and radio quality. So that is super fun. That's the biggest thing that I've been doing the last couple days is getting my head around how to do that. So I invited a friend over uh, who works in a recording studio and uses an Apollo all the time. And so he was able to help me get my head around that. But the Cali monitors, uh, the UA interface, the RE20, also the Royer, uh, the R10 sounds freaking amazing. I've already put that on a couple of videos. If you watch the channel, you've seen little bits here and there. So the ribbon mic sounds amazing and full and exactly like that guitar sounds in real life, which that is absolutely the mission. So if you saw the video before this, the goal was to order studio stuff and my, the whole goal of my studio is to be able to accurately, accurately capture and represent acoustic and electric guitars to people. And I feel like I'm finally being able to really do that uh, in a way that feels like intellectually honest, uh, but also just cool and exciting as I'm getting to learn how to use the studio. So um, I am so thankful and so happy. So uh, this most of this stuff was sponsored by Sweetwater, um, but it's been amazing. Uh, they are so incredibly helpful. I loved uh, talking to Caleb and I've still like, I'll text Caleb questions. And uh, anyway, so this video was sponsored by Sweetwater and I'm incredibly thankful. And uh, yeah, the studio so far is really exciting and really cool. So thanks for watching, I'll see you later. Make sure you subscribe because there's all kinds of cool stuff coming up from us here in Nashville. So, all right. Have fun, see you later. So in this box is the heart and soul of my new YouTube studio. So this is the Universal Audio Apollo Twin X. Uh, this will do everything that I need to do to make just amazing, best quality that, that I can because that really is my goal. It is my goal that every single video that I make is better than the last one. And audio has an amazing ability to make bad video. If something sounds bad, you will stop watching. I will stop watching. So the better I can make things sound. So this does so much that I need to learn how to do. But uh, I'm gonna grab a knife, open it up, plug it in, see what happens. There's one. There's two. Oh, that's such a satisfying open. Just that. So there it is. Look at that thing. So this is the Apollo. So this is the two, which is about all I need. So basically with this, I can run two different mic inputs. So if I wanna run a guitar, so typically I'm gonna use this in my live show. I can do one that's just my audio, uh, just my mic up front. And then the next one, I can do uh, like a guitar input, my pedal board, a condenser or a ribbon mic for an acoustic guitar. And I can control all of it from here. Cause right now I am using the worst, I'm using this like, I mean, it's fine, it has done everything I need to do, but I've just been using the cheapest of uh, interfaces for the last while. And so this, I feel like I'm like actually doing the right thing and um, I'm finally actually getting uh, the, the good stuff, the right stuff.